What's up guys, Coach Hampton here uh, with a new video. It's not a challenge video, uh, but it's a new skill to try and that is juggling. Uh, I know a lot of students that want uh, to try new things, but they won't try new things in front of their friends because of peer pressure and whatnot. But this is something you could try at home and this is juggling. This is the very basics, lesson one of juggling. So I'm gonna take you through a few steps on how, how to start juggling. Um, I'll tell you a little background by myself was uh, my grandpa taught me how to juggle when I was about the age of 11 or 12 um, and it took me hours and hours I would say probably until I got the hang of it, it took me a good six or seven hours between two days uh, to really get the hang of juggling and so I'm gonna lead you through the basics and we'll start with these things right here these little scars right here um, this is the very basic um, but what you want to get the idea is get two or three of these together start with one maybe two and We'll lead you through the different steps for this So the idea is to learn first of all is how high to toss it And that is what you want to do is start with it in your strong hand my right hand And you're going to toss it this way up above head level about a foot above Head level and then just catch it. Okay? And then you really have to use your opposite hand in juggling too, so you would do the same thing to the other side. And you would just practice that a few times. This is the very basic first step of juggling, just like that. Then once you get the hang of it, you'll add a second scarf. And I like to start with them balled up because they'll kind of toss a little better. So at this point in step two, I'm going to toss, toss, and then bring this hand back down and catch catch. So it's going to go toss, toss, catch, catch. See that again? Toss, toss, catch, catch. And I missed the catch. Even Coach Hampton fails. Plenty, actually. Toss, toss, catch, catch. And you would want to do that in repetition. Everything's about repetition until you get comfortable with it. If you're not comfortable with it, don't move on to the next step. So one more time on step two would be toss, toss, catch, catch. And then the third step with these here would be adding a third uh, scarf. And what you would do is you ball them up, and I kind of ball it up like this and kind of put it towards the lower half of my hand so I've got these fingers ready to go still. And then I'd ball this other one up. You start with two scars. See how I've got it balled up in my hand there where uh, my, lap, my first two fingers and thumb are pinching it together. And then what you would do is the same concept. The motion is you're still tossing in the diagonal motion here, tossing here. But then as this hand goes down to catch, the third option or the third step is to bring that third one in and bring that blue one in, toss, and then catch. So we're going to go with a couple catches here on this. So it's going to be toss, toss, catch, catch, toss. And actually, these are harder for me than even the natural balls because they don't fly just like a ball. But it's something to start with. So you would go toss, toss, catch, catch, catch. So you would have a couple of tosses in there. But just the key is to not let it hit the ground. So I'm going to ball it up one more time. See if I can do it right for you guys. Toss, 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 catch, catch, catch. Okay, and if you want to play that back in slow motion, uh, that would be, that would be just fine. So this is uh, juggling lesson number one. I would say when I get to lesson number two, the next step would be to do uh, bean bags. If you have bean bags, that's a good second step. But I don't have bean bags, so my second video is going to be. Uh, with the actual tennis balls and show you some things there with juggling but again juggling takes practice start with these if you have them you can start with balls but I would definitely go scarves uh, bean bags and then and then tennis balls would be the way to go uh, to start learning but you can start at each step if you've got uh, the willingness to do it all right lesson number one for juggling is done going on to lesson number two bye bye